Hey guys, and welcome back to Terror Tech with me, Tenzin. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I hope you guys are doing pretty good. So, well, actually, not pretty good. Really good. Really, really good. <laughs> Anyways, um, this is going to be a, probably a shorter episode than normal, just because we're getting everything ready for the new patch that's coming out. So, <clears throat> I've done some revamping and stuff like that, like our harvest vehicle here. I got into a little bit of a fight with another guy as I was moving... A, because where we had our, uh, where we did the way station and the original harvester, it wasn't flat enough, I didn't think, for our trailers. So I wanted to find another, another flatter spot for us. And during that <laughs> venture, we ran into a guy that pretty much destroyed our t harvester. So, oops, I didn't want to go that way. <laughs> you got a sneak peek at the base. But yeah, this is the harvester now. Um... We got four of the giant GEO uh, drill bits on here. And then, you know, just a ton of guns. Because I like the cannons and I love the uh, missiles. But I think there's something to be said about the, you know, the guns just don't let you down. You know what I mean? Like they're constantly firing. You're not waiting for a reload. Nothing. I know that. I know the, uh, what is it, the Megaton cannons and the Hawkeye cannon turret. They pound, but <laughs> I don't want to wait on the reload. I'd rather, you know, put a bunch of the repeater rifles plus a Gatling gun. We'll see. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is what it is so far. Um, we are a little bit overweight. The, the, the big boy wheels here have cried a couple of times that they're overweight or overloaded. Um, and then there's two GEO batteries in here, two Hawkeye repair bubbles, and I think... Five? No, one, two, three, four, four shield bubbles. So I'm hoping that's good enough. Um, I've revamped our attachment, our hookup for uh, hooking up to our trailer. It's not, this side is what it is. The other, it's the trailer that's been revamped <laughs> in a sense. Um, but yeah, and then of course I've given us a bumper here and I'll show you why that is. So as you can see, We'll back up to it and then we'll take a look at the base. So, like that. Look at that. We're in there one shot, first shot. So, as you guys remember last time, I think I had the hook come out and circle around and we had a dip underneath it. Well, now I just raised it up so we could literally, on the harvester here, we could make the circle twice as big and no matter where we were, we could always hook up to it, right? So, I don't know what's going on here. For some reason, I won't let me grab that piece, so. <laughs> we will close the circuit, um, and then uh, I will show you what we have set up for the base for when um, the patch releases. Okay, let's just, oops. Pull forwards just a hair. Yeah, that's the only thing you have to remove is that one little bit right in the center and that's it and just so you guys know there's literally nothing um holding like i don't have anything holding the hover uh what i don't know what you call it hover pad um hover trailer <laughs> in place like there's uh i just backed it in unhooked and that was it right i think it's just because there's a slight we're sitting on a slight hill so it's kind of yeah, you can see how it's dipped down. Well, that's kind of nice because it's just pushing against and I don't have to worry about it floating away. Um, the distance in between those, I believe, is seven on this one. I tried six, but it actually wouldn't go down. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Sorry, sorry. The opening is six. <laughs> but has to, yeah, the opening has to be six. Yeah, maybe I'm just talking crazy and I did it wrong the first time. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so here's the base. Um, I've made two two of the bays. I still have to make one of the trailers, another trailer. I might even revamp the trailer, remake it, make it a little bit different. Maybe a little bit longer, I think. But this is for, one of them will be for the resources, the raw resources, and one will be for scrapping or scrap pieces that we find around. So the, I'll have to make another trailer for driving around with the pick up pieces, right? <laughs> um, yeah, so I think this is enough room for us. <sighs> but honestly, I don't think it is. 
Like, you know, you get that. You know, that has to be enough room. But I don't think it is. <laughs> but we'll see. Um, I think that's enough for the conveyor belt. And the refineries. Maybe a couple founders. But obviously on this side, we're going to have to have scrappers. Which will then be those. Which will probably come back. So we might have to come out a little bit further. Just so we have everything. But that's fine. Plus now we have to have the silos. Ugh. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a big base. Uh, it's going to be really complicated. But the bigger I can make it and the more open I can make it, the less compact I have to make it. And therefore I can give you guys a better look at everything when it's when it's up and running. And you guys, you know, it's it's hard to tell when there's a conveyor belt side by side which way the ore is going or which way the um you know the what is it? <laughs> Hold on here. Yeah, which way the GSO filter conveyor belt is allowing it to go, what the name is, you know what I mean? So if I can leave a lot of room open, then that's a lot better. But anyways, let's take this, uh... Oh yeah, and then all the solar panels, and I have a ton of lights up there on top of the tower too. I put them up there because I'm sick and tired of having them down low. They always get in the way, so it's just easier to put them on a tower. And the reason that I haven't put uh, shield bubbles or repair bubbles on this is because... I don't like the bubbles getting in my way. They're just, they're really annoying. <laughs> I wish there was like an option to shut them off or something like that, but I don't know. So we'll just jump over to the harvester with the trailer hooked up to it already. And hopefully this bumper kind of works. But like in the last episode, we put these two long, uh, straight long venture bars here, which kind of helped it from swinging out in front of us and stuff like that. But we didn't have a bumper, right? So let's see how it goes. Whoa. Just tucked great right off there. Okay, let's just back up a little bit. <laughs> well, there's a little bit more room now that we've made that um, circle. Well, yeah, I guess you, we could put a, um, like a one by one here and a one by one there and then push these bars out a little bit further. Just so it follow a little bit closer I don't know I don't mind how it is now but we don't know how it's gonna act later on oh are you serious huh well that's not a good thing I might those are the ones by the tires I think that are stopping us or no um I'm not 100% sure either way we are plowing through everything and the reason I put those ones by the tires, of course, same reason I said last episode, is because every once in a while you'll get that rock that you run into or something like that, and it's just, it just messes with you. <laughs> okay, now we're stuck between a couple trees. But yeah, I don't know, this trailer is as violent as it might look. It doesn't look like we're doing any damage to each other, like our... Um, to it, I guess you'd say, or it doing damage to us. So I'm surprised that we have. I haven't done this earlier. Um, you know, it's actually really, really convenient just to tow it behind. It just the possibilities and the ideas that you can get out of this are unbelievable in a sense. Okay, let's try something, just because. I can see it's trying to work its way around. And when I put it on there... What happened? It went underneath the bumper. There, now it's on top of the bumper. Oh yeah, way happen <laughs> oh no it's, oh yeah okay it's either dipping down below this can make parking it though a lot easier um let's see if we can get it out from underneath us okay so uh A 
Oops. You know, that kind of worries me. I just, you guys just see that uh, tree that just popped up there? Because I have a... Oops. When I built this, right where this um, trailer goes in. Yeah, I think these, these do help control it, but not the way you want it to. Let's just back it up some more. Uh, there we go. <laughs> That's the nice thing about it, is that it doesn't seem like we do any damage to each other, so... Oops. Our harvester really likes to move pretty fast there. I'll put that back. And there we go. We're out. So yeah, that's what we have ready for the new patch. If it doesn't release um, this week... We'll still, we'll keep this, we'll just uh, armor it up and put some AI units on it and stuff like that. Why am I not? <laughs> put some AI units on it and stuff like that and then we'll, we'll go do our own little thing for a little while and then we'll come back when the patch releases. But if you guys liked the episode, please leave a like, leave a comment, and if you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.